I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart today. Wow. Um, hey, Troop. Love the song. Oh, uh, hey, Miss Kelly. Hey, kids. Happy Sunday. Troop, you seem to be in a great mood. What's up? Oh, I am so happy. I'm having the best day. You know, my friend Isaac's in town and we're gonna hang out and um, the sun is shining, the birds are chirping. I'm so happy. That's great, Troop. And you know, that kind of reminds me of today's lesson. Remember how we were talking about the fruit of the spirit? Oh yeah, the fruit of the spirit. When Jesus lives inside you and you begin to see his fruit. So like, Love, joy, patience, peace, kindness, self-control, gentleness, faithfulness, all of those. That's right, Troop. Those are the fruit of the Spirit. Yeah. Oh, what's, what, what's today's fruit? Well, I'm glad you asked, Troop. Today's fruit is joy. Oh, joy. I have so much joy. You know, I am very happy all the time. I'm so happy. That's great, Troop. But did you know that joy and happiness are different? Hmm, what? I thought they were the same thing. No, they're different. Happiness is often something that like happens around you. So when you're having a great day and it's determined by something outside of you, like the sun shining or the birds chirping or your friend Isaac being in town. But yeah, joy is something that happens inside us. It's God-given gladness. Joy doesn't change even if our day is going poorly. We always have joy. Hmm, um, I don't understand. Okay, let's watch this video and see if this helps you understand. Here we go. Hey kids, today we're doing a science experiment. We need to figure out what's longer lasting, joy or happiness. Is there a difference? With all science experiments, we need a few supplies. We need safety goggles and some balloons. First, we have our happiness balloon. This represents when everything in life is going great, when you're having the best day and you're smiling and you're happy. This is your happy balloon. You also need a second balloon. This is your joy balloon. It looks the same as the happy balloon and it's smiling the same way, but if you look closely, the joy balloon has something else in it. Can you see what else is inside of it? Hmm. Okay, and then you're gonna need a candle and a lighter. The first thing that we're going to do is light our candle. Then we're gonna put our safety goggles on. This flame represents all the bad things that happen. This is the bad days when things don't go your way or when something sad happens and you're not happy. That's what this flame represents. Now, let's see what happens when we take our happiness balloon and put it over the flame. Oh no! Next we have our joy balloon. So we're gonna light our candle again. We got our joy and it has its stuff inside. Let's see what happens. Hmm. Our joy balloon didn't pop. Joy lasts forever. When our joy is from God, nothing can stop it. So Troop, what did you think of the video? Wow, the balloon didn't pop. Even when the joy balloon touched the fire, it stayed okay, it didn't pop. That's right. The joy balloon didn't pop even when it touched the fire. The same is true for our lives. Sometimes we have sad or hard things happen, but the joy of the Lord holds us together. We can endure those things and not pop. Wow!
wow! The joy of the Lord endures forever! That's right, the joy of the Lord lasts forever. Okay, troop. Okay, kids, that's all for today. But we'll see you next week where we'll talk about our next fruit. See you then!